Hey everyone, welcome to the Coyote Country Lodge brought to you by PredatorHuntingWorld.com. On this episode, let's talk about what call sounds to use depending on the time of year when you're out hunting coyotes. So let's start at the basics or the beginning of say like fall time. That's the best time to get out and hunt coyotes. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use uh, a little bit of pup distress. We primarily use jackrabbit distress pretty much the entire time from September into January. But pup distress works really well. The pups are still paired up with their parents in the fall time or August, September. Uh, and a lot of times you can trigger a response with the parents or even other pups by using pup distress. It works really, really well. Uh, moving on, when you get into definitely like October, November, December, uh, just any kind of distress. So depending on where you're at, I mean, jackrabbit stress pretty much will work no matter where you're at. Even if you don't have jackrabbits there, it's still a distress sound and it triggers a response with the coyotes and gets them to run in. Um, when you go into, say, January, February, when it's pairing time, much more difficult it is my least favorite time of the year to call coyotes. Um, they don't respond to a lot. They got one thing on their mind and that's finding a mate. A lot of times they don't even really hunt and eat much. They're eating berries or whatever they can find just to maintain a little bit of energy while they go through this process. So when you get into that time of year, pretty much the only thing that's gonna work is gonna be like a lone female howl or an invitation howl. You gotta do coyote vocals. It's really tough to get them to respond. Um, if they're paired, they're not gonna care that much. If they're not paired, you may get a male to come in. Your odds of calling in coyotes are a lot less during that couple month period of time. Now, once they pair up, um, in my opinion, they go back to hunting for a little bit while they're establishing the territory they're gonna den in. So you can go back to jackrabbit distress. That's usually what we do in that late postseason time of calling is jackrabbit distress. Um, you could also try uh, bird distress. You can try uh, guinea pig, you can try prairie dog, whatever's gonna work. Distress sounds still work at that point in time. You can still do howls. Um, sometimes you can do challenge howls during this tough time of calling. Um, that could trigger response with them that they're gonna defend their territory. Um, once they start denning up, they kind of disappear for a little bit, but there's always still one or two coyotes out there that haven't paired up that you could still call in. They're still eating. You know, distress sounds for me pretty much work year round. We use them a ton, even though we do do other stuff, but that is kind of our go-to type of scenario, type of sequence. Um, summertime, we don't call. It's just honestly too hot. Um, Pup distress, that's gonna be your, your sounds for the summertime if you're gonna get out there and hunt in the heat. Um, the pups are just coming out of the den or they're still in the den, but that's definitely gonna trigger a response with the parents. Um, and then like I say, you go back into fall, it's still a little bit of pup distress, but you start doing more of the jackrabbit distress or cottontail distress, show, snowshoe or something like that. Um, coyotes, they respond to certain things and it's either they're hungry, they're curious, or they're angry or protective. So those are the kind of things that you're looking for. Um, if you're in an area that's heavily hunted, heavily called, you're gonna have to mix it up. Distress sounds have probably been overplayed quite a bit. And that's when you wanna start doing something a little different. Off the wall, just any kind of abnormal sound, they may respond to it just to see what's going on. Even if they're not hungry, they're not angry, they may just be curious about it and come running into the call. So this episode is brought to you by PredatorHuntingWorld.com, the official store for Coyote Country gear, apparel, t-shirts, hats, all that good stuff. For social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, our handle for all three of those is Coyote Country TV. Or if you just want more information about our TV show, Coyote Country, which airs on the Pursuit channel, our website is CoyoteCountry.tv. Remember guys, it's always better being out in the field than it is sitting at home on the couch. Mm -hmm.